Hi, so today I'm going to be feeding my uh, Budgets frog. I think I showed this before on here, and um, that was like the day I got him. But yeah, I don't know if you can see, but he's right there. Oh, sorry, the glass is foggy, acrylic. But um, I tried to pick up the hide earlier and he bit me, so he's obviously hungry. I have a, um, a baby desert iguana that drowned in the pond, I believe. Could have been the pool, but I think this one was the pond. So, it might be too big for him. Well, we we're going to find out. But I, I um, stuck my finger in there. He bit my finger and I picked him up just by the bite force. He has a remarkably strong bite. This crayfish just kind of lives in there. He was supposed to be food, but the frog never ate him. So. Yeah, I don't know if he's going to be able to eat this lizard, but we're going to find out. So I already got it almost halfway down. Not including the tail. That's a much better angle. See his little fingers grabbing it, and then he pulls it in. They say this is more of an advanced care species of frog. I've so far found it to be fairly easy. Just some shallow water. This is a, I don't know, five gallon critter keeper. That's the lid. And um, it, it's the tank that he came with. They need no extra lighting, no heating as long as your house is warm. This house, we keep it at like 84 down to 80 sometime. However, um, it is fall. It's September. Uh, yeah, Sept No, sorry, it's October now. So, um, temperatures are going down. But it doesn't get cold enough in the winter in here for him to to be a problem for him. So he's growing very fast. I think he might have swallowed the legs by now. Let's see. There he is. So he is a lot bigger than when I got him. You can see the lump on his side from that lizard. But this frog species, the reason I was willing to do that and give him such a big prey item is because this frog species is um, renowned for its ability to eat proportionately huge prey items. So. I wouldn't have done it if this lizard was alive, but since it's dead, I think there's no problem. Budget's frogs have the um, widest uh, glare is not good there. Widest um, jaws proportionately, at least of any vertebrate that I know of. I think you can probably see there his jaws actually extend beyond his shoulders. They go past over his shoulders. And that's an adaptation that enables them to catch huge prey items in proportion to their body size. Well, 
I don't feed him very often. Um, I'd say something really big like this, maybe twice a month. But it's probably better to feed him smaller things once a week. But again, they're they're adapted to eat huge prey items, so I don't think it's bad. When they eat the huge ones, you can't feed them very much because just like pixie frogs, they will get obese. And that can lead to health problems. So I want to avoid that. I need to fill the water again, it's getting shallow. It's starting to show his back. He's also hunched up a little bit. If he flattens out, he can go under it completely. So it's good to have an area of land for him to come out. Um, he can climb on the coconut hide, I'm assuming, and he can get somewhat out of the water on these plants when they're in the right position and everything. But thus far, I have never seen him try. So I don't think it's a huge deal. It doesn't need to be big, that's for sure. That was a success. He's definitely going to eat that. Next time I feed him a mouse, next time I get a mouse. I fed the pixie frog a mouse recently. That was fun. That's my hand next to him. So he's grown significantly since I got him. Alright, well I took the plant out, as you can see, and um, as you can see there's lots of poop and gunk in here, so probably tomorrow, possibly the day after, I will get in here and um, clean that out because the reason I, I'm not going to do it tonight is because uh, it's unwise to um, pick up the frog after they've eaten something like that because who knows he might thrash he might manage to jump out of my hand and that could hurt him with such a large object in his stomach so if you're going to do that and you're going to you have a feeding and a cleaning that needs to be done it's probably best to do the cleaning first. However, I didn't do that, so I'll do the cleaning later. Maybe I'll wait until he poops. This lizard. <laughs> Who knows? But, um, yeah, they say with budget frogs, one of the main concerns is water quality. And um, this water honestly isn't very good just because there's so much poop in it that needs to be replaced. There's no filtration, it's just when it gets like this, then I clean it out, replace the water. But thus far he's been really doing really well. He's grown a lot and um, he's eating very well. So I'm not concerned right now. Well, there. He ate the entire thing. So, tomorrow, will, well, probably the day after. Depends on how he feels tomorrow. If he's still got a huge stomach lump tomorrow, then I'll probably wait. But if not, then I'll change out the water tomorrow and get that cleaned up. So, Shadow's like, oh my gosh, what is this? What is this? There, that's it. Bye-bye. Hope you enjoyed.